It's not just the government talking tough on the asylum crisis. The man in the orange top from Sudan is the self-styled leader of this group of asylum seekers. They feel angry every day. Between them, they've all moved from two hotels in East London, where there were standoffs with the Home Office, refusing to leave before finally agreeing to be transferred to new accommodation an hour and a half away. They say they won't move to another hotel, let alone a barge. If you get asked to move again to another hotel, no, what no, would no. you say? No, 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 I, I can't move. I can't move. I will make protest. All, all, all the people here, I, I invite them to make protests in front of the hotel. What do you say to people who say your accommodation is being paid for by the British taxpayer yeah. so the government can send you to whichever hotel they want to? I have been near to, to be two years. How can I move? You're saying you're settled? Yeah, yeah. The Home Office won't say exactly who is destined for its three-storey floating barge, the Bibby Stockholm, currently in port in Genoa in Italy. It will be berthed in Portland Harbour, much to the opposition of Dorset Council, and house 500 asylum seekers in what the government describes as basic accommodation. We're bringing forward alternative sites, like indeed the barge that we've announced today, that will save us money and indeed reduce pressure on hotels, all part of our plan to stop the boats. Currently, £6 million a day is being spent on housing 51,000 asylum seekers in hundreds of hotels. This man from Sudan has been in six of them in three years. If the government tries to send you to a barge, what will be your reaction? Uh, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go anymore. You, don't, you say you don't want to go, but what, what will you do? I, I go homeless. By homeless, he means he'll disappear from the asylum system, living outside of society, something we're increasingly hearing from people who also say they're afraid of being sent to Rwanda. Yet hours before the government's barge announcement, Sky News filmed three boats packed with migrants leaving a beach in Dunkirk in northern France. Those who successfully make the journey will arrive as the government continues to unveil a strategy aimed at deterring people from trying to cross the channel. Lisa Holland, Sky News.